Good afternoon. It's John Gilkison, Aerostealth here. Today is Memorial Day. It is uh, Monday, May 30th, 2022. And I wanted to shoot a short video today on how I made up a couple of adapters for the stock 120 volt EVSE that uh, came with our Chevrolet Bolt which is parked right here. Um, so this is a s stock adapter. This is a, a, a 1772 plug and it uh, <coughs> here's the other end of course and it'll charge at uh, 1.44 kilowatts basically or about four miles an hour and it comes with a car now it turns out and I've, I've heard this from other sources but uh, apparently because this is made for the European market Canada England and other places it it actually can operate on um, 240 volts and uh, Here's the plug-in right here. Of course, this is a 120-volt plug. But if it was sold in other countries, it would have a different plug on it. Um, but since it is capable of operating at 240 volts in the United States, of course, in this version, you would have to have some kind of adapter to adapt this plug to plug into an outlet like I have over here, which is a 240 volt. Now it just so, so happens this outlet right here is a, um, it's on a 40 amp circuit. So my uh, level two charger over here mounted on the wall is capable of 7.2 kilowatts of output at 32 amps so obviously I can plug this EVSE into this 120 volt outlet right here and I have done so in the past and uh, but let's say and I've had this situation before not with this uh, level 2 charger but uh, if that unit were to crap out and I had to rely on this I mean, basically, we're looking at 50 miles a day of charging is what I could do overnight. Um, and that would be barely adequate for our needs. It would be, the car would be charging all the time. Now, another situation we have is we have a fifth wheel trailer and we camp in the parks. And of course, you would like to use your, your uh, opportunity charger that you keep in the vehicle all the time to charge with you when you're on the road at a campground, let's say, and it's still too slow for, let's say, day tripping or so forth. I mean, you might want to go more than 50 miles in a day. So um, I made up two different adapters. Um, one is for the outlet that I have in the garage in case I ever have to fall back on my granny charger and the others for camping in the parks. Now the one I made up for the garage here is this unit here. And you can tell by this this smaller plug on this side that it fits. Um, so this is a 240 volt plug and this cable is as you can see much much more heavy duty than the cable that comes with the EVSE and uh, this end here is a female uh, 20 amp 200 and or excuse me 120 volt uh, plug However, what you have to realize is each one of these hots 
this hot here and this hot here on this side are still only carrying the same current that the one hot carries on the 120 volt unit. So this cable is completely oversized and the cable that's in the charger itself is still com completely adequate for carrying twice the current. So what we're doing here with this is we're charging at 2.88 kilowatts instead of uh, 1.44. And <clears throat> I've tried this unit out briefly in, in the garage and it works. And so what you do is let's say you make up one of these. Now this does not have a neutral as you can see. So in, in some ways it's simpler to wire up because these two hots here are um, <clears throat> reversible. It, it, it really doesn't make any difference which hot you attach to which side. And with a 120 volt plug, you have to make sure you get the neutral on the neutral and the hot on the hot. Uh, that's just the way that works. So in some ways, 120 volts is a little bit more complicated. You just have to not be colored blind because you have to attach the green to the ground. So there you are. So this is a nice robust robust plug as you can see. It actually has a, an attach, a metal collar in here to attach the cable to. And I've put a red uh, electrical tape around it. Now one of the things I want to do, and I'm going to do it real soon, is I'm going to get a label maker and we're going to put a label on this thing all the way around that says 124, 140 volts only. So in case someone else ever stumbled, stumbled across this and they stupidly tried to plug this in and plug a 120 volt appliance into it, uh, at least they had the warning. Uh, of course, it would fry the appliance. Uh, it's not good. So there is a safety concern about that and the best you can do is a label for it. But this is for my, our personal use only. This is not something I'm going to sell on or, or anything else. Now here's the one I made up for the parks. And this is going to plug into a 50 amp service. Now the 50 amp plug normally has a neutral right here, which I've covered with tape, the hole here where the plug went. And the reason I did that is just to keep insects or anything like that out of it. Because I don't really need the neutral. There is no place at this end of the plug to attach a neutral. So why have the plug? Uh, it, it just makes it a little bit easier to plug in than it would be with that neutral uh, plug down here. So here it is, and we used this at Caballo Lake on two separate nights, and it worked great. The car charged twice as fast. I can get 100 miles a night out of it easily overnight, charging the car up. And uh, we did some day tripping there, and it worked out great. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you quickly. Um, that's why we're set up the way we are. So basically I'm going to plug this in. My other plug's hanging down there. And we're going to plug the EDSE into it. Now the first thing, I know you may have trouble seeing it way over there, but I'm holding it up and there's a green light right here. So this is one of your first safeties. Another safety, of course, is the breaker at the breaker box out there, the 40 amp breaker. And then right in here is some thermal protection, uh, a thermal switch. So if this line was to overheat, uh, in theory, this thermal switch could cut the current also. So there you have it. I would have a red light if this unit wasn't happy with the power it was being given. And all it is being given is 120 volts at 12 amps, only it's being given it on two different conductors instead of one. So when I plug it into the car, you're going to see that the car is happy also.
see the green flashing light so there you have it I'm not going to take the camera around and show you in the car and turn the car on and all this but basically the readout in the dash with the 120 volt setup would read one kilowatt because it doesn't have any finer increments of readings than that but with the way it's plugged in now it'll read three because 2.88 is very close to three so it just rounds up so there you have it I'm charging now at uh, close to three kilowatts instead of just one and close to one and a half so and I can get a hundred miles in a 12 hour period easily charging this way versus just 50 miles with the uh, stock EVSE. Now what this does for me is it gives me some flexibility. Now because I haven't changed the plug on the EVSE over to a 240 volt plug, I still have the capability if I get to a site or I'm somewhere and there's only 120 volt plugs outlets available, then I can plug into them. And something's better than nothing. And if I have 240 volt uh, uh, outlet available, a 50 amp or a 30 or a 40 amp service like I have here, I can plug into it. So if you know what you're doing, you're going to be all right. That's my piece of advice. And uh, and this this is safe if someone's using it who understands what they're doing. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to put a label on this, but that's the best I can do with it uh, other than put it under a lock and key or something. So there you have it. It, it, it is, in theory, someone could take a unit like this and plug a 120-volt appliance into it, but that appliance wouldn't last very long. So... <clears throat> There you have it, um, uh, a 16 amp 240 volt EVSE on Amazon would cost me around $300 and I've spent $40 on these adapters to get somewhat near the equivalent. Um, obviously 16 amp would charge a bit faster but uh, this is good enough and it, and it makes a greater utility out of my stock EVSE. And so I kind of like it. And there's people out there that have done this and they've been using these kind of adapter setups for for some few years and they're happy with them. So I'm going to go with it. And if anything happens uh, that creates a problem of any sort, I'll report back to you. I'll be glad to. But I don't foresee anything. Um, so I'm going to let you go there. I'm very pleased with both of these adapters. They both work. And uh, so we'll see you on, down the road, everybody. Uh, stay fully charged. Bye-bye.